I'm Tyler Norton, and welcome back to another episode of UCTV. Before we get started, we would like to thank the Journalism One class for taking over last week. We were all very busy last week with testing and baseball and softball. Uh, we will also be very busy this week with baseball and softball, but we are still managing to squeeze in just enough time to release another episode. So without further ado, let's get into this week's UCTV. So we are officially entering week 32, I think, which means we unfortunately are nearing the end of the school year. With that being said, it is almost time to say our goodbyes to our beloved seniors. Luckily, we do not have to say goodbye just yet, as Seth is here to interview one of our seniors of the class of 2022. Hey guys, I'm doing a senior interview, and I decided to go straight for the top and get the Val Victorian. So let's introduce Jaden to the show. We are here with Jaden, so let's just first ask the first question. How was your day, dude? Oh, that's fantastic. That's great to hear. Always good to hear. Second question may be a little bit harder, but I think you'll get it eventually. What are your future job, future plans for like jobs in college and such? I plan to go to Redlands for a year and then go to OU right after. That's pretty cool. I don't know. What are you going to go for? Uh, major in business. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, number three. Any tips for the upcoming juniors that are going to get come into the senior spot or just any upcoming you know, high schoolers at all? Uh, by the time you get to the senior year, just don't take any classes. Very good advice. Um, all right, fourth one is about your spot at the top of the class, being valedictorian. I assume that you worked very hard to get that spot, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, I worked hard every day, made sure I get my work done, and study real hard. <laughs> That's great, man. <laughs> I love that. Commitment to that. Yep. All right, thank you, Mr. Stryker, for joining us, and make sure to tell all the people here that to watch UCTV. So, until right. the next time, thanks. Thank you, Seth, and congratulations to Jaden on earning valedictorian. We would also like to congratulate Bailey Jackson on earning the salutatorian. Good job to all the senior class. You guys are a joy to have around, and you will be dearly missed. Now, we're going to see how those big kids have been spending some time with the little kids as we send it to Adam with a pretty interesting segment. Something you may or may not know is that for the past couple of months, the junior and senior classes have been reading to the elementary students once every week. The senior classes read to the kindergarten students and the junior class reads to the first graders, both doing this every Wednesday. All of us have enjoyed being a part of the elementary classes and getting to read to them. Not only that, but to get to socialize with them. This has overall been a great experience and we all appreciate the opportunity to be able to have an impact on the younger kids' lives. Thank you and back to you. It has truly been a joy to not only read to the younger kids, but to really talk to them and get to know them. I want to give a shout out to Christopher in first grade. It's been great getting to read with you, and I can't wait to go down to your class once again. As we mentioned earlier, the end of the school year is quickly closing in. With that being the case, we have to start getting prepared for the next year coming up. If you want to know more about how to do that, here's Berenice to help out with that. Thank you, Tyler. Yes, this school year is sadly coming to an end, and that means pre-enrollment has already started. If you go to our Union City School website, you can go ahead and enroll if you do plan on attending. I have talked to Ms. Griggs and she said that our next year class, class schedules will be done by the end of this school year and we are going to be able to change our schedules at the end of the year. So it's not as chaotic at the beginning of the year. But of course, if you do change your mind about some classes, then you are more than able to change them at the beginning of next year. That's all I have for this week. Thank you and back to you, Tyler. Thank you, Berenice. We're gonna be switching it up a little bit real quick. FCA is gonna have another FCA day coming up. I know that the last time FCA put on one of these, it was a ton of fun, so I highly recommend showing up, showing up and enjoying the time. If you want a little bit more information on, the, on when that will be and what it even is, uh, listen up to Grace as she fills us in about it. I've talked to Ms. McReynolds and I've gotten a list of fun things that we're going to be doing during FCA day. We have added a new event, which is the dunk tank. It will cost a dollar for three balls, and the other thing that will cost money is the car bash, which will also be a dollar for two hits. Other things that you can do there is play volleyball, spike ball, jump rope, four square, and cornhole. That night, there will also be an FCA cookout, which, cookout, which will be at Miss McReynolds' house, 
and you can talk to her about more information on that. I am super excited for FCA Day, and I hope everyone else is as well. This is everything that I have for you this week. Thank you, and back to you. Thank you, Grace. If you guys aren't busy that day, I would definitely consider showing up. It's a great time to hang out with friends, and most importantly, it's a great time for worship. We're going to be staying on the topic of extracurricular activities for a little bit. With the end of the school year coming up, that means the end of baseball and softball is also coming up. If you are unable to make it to much of the ball games this year, it's all right, because here is the Kai Money with the full recap of this year's spring sports. Hey guys, it's Kylie, and I'm going to be giving you a recap on the softball and baseball seasons. So for starters, let's talk about softball. This year, the Lady Tigers started out strong, getting Coach Schmidt and Binge their 100th win in the season. During the season, the Lady Tigers also beat rank four ranked teams and placed third in the Wacomas Tournament. Along with that, the Junior High Ladies Tigers also placed third in the Hinton Tournament. A couple weeks later, we beat ranked number 12 Fort Cobb with a walk-off home run by Emily Griggs. The Lady Tigers ended their season with a 23-13 record, and I'm filming this before districts, so hopefully we will advance to regionals. Now, the Tigers started off rocky but started to pick up their slack and started pushing the record up. They have had three people hit home runs this year, Tyler Noren, Aiden Ellington, and Braden Armstrong. Another highlight is the Tigers placed first in the Ringwood Tournament and also got third in the Moss Tournament. They now have a record of 14-7 going into districts Wednesday, hopefully also advancing into regionals. Well, that's all I have for this week's sports update. Tune back in next week to see how districts went. Thank you, Kylie, and good luck to all the baseball and softball players on districts, and we're hoping for an extended season. That's about all we have in store for y'all this week. Good luck to everybody with the rest of the school year, and have an amazing week. Peace out.